What's up everybody, Big Channel here, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be showing you guys how to load and unload filament inside the Anycubic Mega X 3D printer. I've had this printer for a little under a year now, and in that time frame, I've learned a few things that help expedite the 3D printing process, and I wanna teach it to you guys. If you guys aren't sure how to load or unload filament in this machine, don't fret, it's not as hard as you guys think it is. We're gonna be taking a look at this and much more in a mini series we're gonna be doing here on the channel, so without further ado, let's get right into it. The components we're gonna be dealing with today include the spool holder, the filament of your choice, we have a filament runout sensor near the base of the printer. We also have the extruder that sits up top a little bit higher. And then we have the Bowden tube that connects the extruder with the hot end and the nozzle. You can also see on the extruder gear that there is a spring loaded mechanism. You can push back on that to help push in and pull out filament a little bit easier. And we'll get into that in a little more detail in just a minute. But all these components are necessary to understand if you want to know how to load and unload material properly in this machine. On the screen, you're going to select tools, then hit the arrow in the bottom right corner and then select the filament option. You're then going to have three choices. You're now going to select filament in to load material into the printer. You're then going to get a pop up saying you can't extrude with a cold nozzle. So now the nozzle is going to automatically heat up to 230 degrees Celsius. That is plenty for most materials this machine can handle. Before we load our material into the printer, I'm going to check the spool and make sure it's A-OK -okay before I load anything in. I'm going to take the spool of material and check the material itself to see if there's any knots in the material, as well as any imperfections or impurities in the spool. If all looks good visually, I'm going to take the end of the material and at an angle, I'm going to snip the end with a pair of shears. This angled cut is going to help the filament guide its way through the Bowden tube a lot easier when loading and unloading. And it also gets rid of the blotchy, bulby end that you pulled out of the printer after you were uh, removing filaments. To load material into the printer, we're going to take the spool and let it rotate counterclockwise on the spool holder until the filament goes underneath it. At this point, we can then feed it through the runout sensor and up into the extruder gear. Once you get to the extruder gear, you're going to notice a spring-loaded pulley mechanism that's going to help you load the filament in. Pull back on that mechanism as you load filament into the Bowden tube. Just be careful and not pull on it too much, or you could break it. Keep loading the material into the Bowden tube until it's about halfway through, and then let go of the mechanism and it should lock into place. Once the filament is in place and the nozzle is heated up correctly, Go ahead and hit the filament in button again on the front screen and give it a few moments as the extruder continues to push the filament through the nozzle. You should then start to see filament flow out of the nozzle pretty smoothly and with a consistent flow rate. Now I'm gonna show you guys a trick to not have to heat up the nozzle all the way up to 230 degrees Celsius and save a little bit of time. In the main menu, click the temperature button in the center, and then you're gonna adjust the nozzle temperature to about 200 to 215 or whatever you're printing at, whatever the variable temperature is for that material, set it to what you usually set it to, and then let it warm up. Once the nozzle's at the correct temperature, you can then load your filament manually into the printer. Take the spring-loaded mechanism on the extruder gear, push it back, and then start to load your filament manually throughout the Bowden tube. You can go the entire length of the Bowden tube at this point. Just stop when you start to feel resistance. At that point, you're gonna be close to the hot end and the nozzle. Once you get to that point, continue to push firmly but slowly on the filament until you start to see it manually extrude out of the nozzle. Fairly simple, right? You should start to see it come out of the nozzle. It won't be as clean as it was the last time. However, you're gonna get flow of material coming out the nozzle, and it should be a lot easier to do than waiting for the extruder gear to continue to push it through the Bowden tube. Just a little something simpler that I've done in the last couple months since I've had the printer that saved me a bunch of time. Now, unloading filament is pretty much the same process as loading filament in, basically just in reverse. It'll be an easy process, and I'll show you how right now. To unload filament, it's gonna start out the same way like loading in by heating up the nozzle to 230 degrees Celsius. Once we get to that point, we can then select filament remove instead of filament in. And then at that point, the extruder gears are going to reverse and the filament is going to start coming out of the extruder gear and the Bowden tube. It's going to take a few minutes before it gets fully out, but once it gets near the end, you'll be able to take the spring-loaded mechanism on the extruder gear, push it back and pull the last bit of filament out. 
Another tip I have is to wind the spool that's on the spool holder while the filament's coming out so it rewinds the spool without having a mess of filament all over the floor. However, I'm going to show you guys a little bit easier way to unload filament. So you're still going to have to heat up the nozzle to 230 degrees Celsius. There's no way around that in the software once you click filament in or filament remove. At that point when it heats up, you can click filament remove and let the filament extrude out for about 5 to 10 seconds. Don't let the gear run for more than that, just until it gets out of the hot end. Then you guys can click stop. At that point, you guys can take the spring-loaded mechanism, pull back on it, and pull out the filament manually. You can pull it out all the way through until the tip comes out. Once the end of the filament is out of the extruder gear, grab onto it and start to wind it back onto the spool. Make sure it's nice and tight on the spool so there's no tangling in the spool when you rewind it. And if your spool holder has a clip or something to hold the filament into, clip it in and make sure it's nice and secure. My filament rolls usually have a couple punched holes around the rim that you can tuck the filament edges inside so it doesn't unwind the spool and cause tangling. Once you're done loading and unloading filament into the printer for today, you can then click on the cooling button and cool down the nozzle to room temperature. Let the nozzle cool down completely before shutting off the printer so the nozzle has efficient time to cool and you don't damage any of the printer's components. So there you have it guys, that's it. That's how you load and unload filament in the Anycubic Mega X3D printer. I hope that wasn't too complicated for you guys and I hope you guys learned something or took a new tip home for you to try with your 3D printer. Let me know in the comments below guys if you have any additional comments or questions or if you have any additional tips on how loading and unloading filament in this machine can be better. Also let me know in the comments below guys if you want me to continue this mini series on the Anycubic Mega X and let me know what topics you want me to cover next. If you liked today's video, guys, don't forget to go hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, hit that notification bell while you're up there so you always know when new content's coming your way. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on the channel here, and don't forget to follow me on the other social media platforms I follow. Links to those are also in the description below. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll catch you in the next one, and until next time, keep doing it big.